welcome to another video here is our math challenge for today we want to find all the roots of this problem uh, the first step we are going to take as uh, so we have two cases here so let's say we consider the first case of this so if we have 6 minus x raised to the power of 0 we know this is equals to 1 so which means that the 1 at the right hand side is just like 6 minus x raised to the power of 0 so when we have that, it means that x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0. So for that reason, we have x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0. So if this is a quadratic equation, we are going to solve this quadratically by factorization method. So we know that the middle term can be written as uh, 3x plus 4x. So because 3 plus 4 is 7 and 3 multiplied by 4 is 12, everything equals 0. So we can group this into 2, 2 and we are going to have the first one as x squared plus 3x. We bracket this plus again we have 4x plus 12 equals 0. So for the first one we have x that is common, we take it out, then we have x plus 3 plus so why if this we have 4 that is common we take it out and we have x plus 3 inside the parentheses everything equals 0. so we are going to take x plus 4 together and uh, we take one of x plus 3 everything equals 0. therefore we have x plus 4 equals 0 or x plus 3 equals 0. so the first one x equals minus 4 while the second one is x equals minus 3 so if this is the first case and which we are done with it so let's see the second case of this suppose looking at this is a linear equation so which means that if we raise uh, 1 to the power of the uh, the quadratic equation above which is x squared plus 7x plus 12 this equals 1 provided that it is even so and if this is equals 1 then we are going to have 6 minus x equals 1 so if 6 minus x equals 1 we are going to get the value of x in this then we have 6 minus 1 equals x and x equals 5 so this is how to get the value of x for the second case of this. Therefore, the whole of x are for the first one we have minus 4, minus 3, and the last one is 5. So we are, doing, we are going to verify if all these roots satisfy the given equations. So let's start with when x equals minus 4. At x equals minus 4, we have 6 minus x raised to the power of x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 1. So let's plug in the value of x at minus 4. We want to check if it is equals minus 1. So we have 6 minus bracket minus 4 raised to the power of minus 4 all square plus 7 bracket minus 4 plus 12. Let's see if this is equals 1. So the whole of this is 10 raised to the power of so minus 4 square is 16 and for this we have minus 28 plus 12 and we know if you add all those together we are going to get 0 and 10 to the power of 0 equals 1 which means x equals minus 4 satisfy this so why for the second one which is at x equals minus 3 we also do the same process by plugging this then we get 9 so 9 raised to the power of minus 3 square plus 7 uh, bracket minus 3 plus 12 and the whole of this is going to be 9 to the power of you know minus 3 square is 9 minus 21 plus 12 and everything equals 9 to the power of 0 as well and 9 to the power of 0 equals 1 which means x equals minus 3 also satisfy this why for the last one at x equals 5 we also plug in x equals 5 to check if it satisfies this or not 
So we have x minus 5, uh, which is 6 minus 5, then raised to the power of 5 square plus 7 bracket 5 plus 12. So 6 minus 5 is 1, raised to the power of 5 square is 25 plus 35 plus 70 uh, plus 12. And we have 1 to the power of 25 plus uh, 35. So we are going to have it as uh, 60 plus 12. And 60 plus 12 is 72. Then 1 to the power of 72 is automatically 1, which means that x equals 5 also satisfies this. So all this will satisfy this problem and nothing x. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe for more. See you in the next class. Bye bye.